Hello guys, welcome to my Unity tutorial. In this session, I'm going to show you how to use Unity's component to create trees on either terrain or whatever object you want to add the trees to. So I'm going to start by clicking on new and I'm going to give my project a name. I'm just going to call it create trees. And since I'm not going to be adding any assets, I'm just going to click on create. Okay, my development environment is ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my standard asset, which some of you guys should have on your Unity. And I will also import one or two other components on board. So let's get that on Unity first. There we go. The standard asset is loading. Okay, guys, I've just imported my standard asset, which you guys should have a an opportunity to you can always go to the assets store to get that sorted all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go straight to my hierarchy let's select 3d and i'm going to select terrain there we go that's my terrain right there so once the terrain is selected i'm going to make sure this brush is selected and here make sure we select paint brush and we click on the terrain edit layer let's select create edit and scroll right down i need something to do with grass okay let's see what will happen with this very grass here or maybe this so double click on that there we go look at that very grass is right there on my terrain okay let's select the brush again and right here i'm going to come down here and select rise or low terrain there that is that selected and in here, the brush size, maybe increase that a little bit to reduce all my hard work. And I will select this very brush. And what about uh, opacity? Opacity can be that, but I intend to make it maybe seven. That would be fine. And in here, all I just need to do is just to increase the, the way the terrain looks, just give it its own look and uh, we just take it from there once it's all done so let's run it and you see how it's going to look like that's my terrain right there that's how it's looking looks like uh, a jagged terrain so that's a little bit all right so that's cool it's not all this tutorial is all about uh, creating trees anyway so let's come to game objects or you can always come to the hierarchy click on the hierarchy 3d object and right there look right there is the tree add the tree now the tree is coming up the tree is right there you guys might not be able to see so let's zoom in there we go that is the tree and you can also see the element of the trees right there okay right here see inside inspector good Okay, and if you guys notice, you would notice that the tree is right at the edge of the terrain. But now let's do one thing. I'm gonna grab the the move tool and just call and move the terrain in a little bit. Okay. Hold on to your alt key and just move it there so that you guys can see the tree properly. Okay, now one other thing is select the tree and here you can see the tree seed. I'm going to leave this tree seed like that, but you see the area spread. The area spread, maybe we can just reduce it a little bit more. Okay, as for the grand offsets, look, look, look at what's going to happen. If I decide to add more, you can see that the tree is actually going right down. Okay. So it's advisable. I'm just gonna leave it right there. The ground offset is zero. Now, this is the trunk. Let's click on the trunk. With the trunk, I just want the tree, the trunk to be the frequency to be one. Okay. If you don't understand what I mean by that, let's assume we say the frequency is ten. Look at what's gonna happen. There's trees everywhere. But we don't want that. So I'm gonna select the tree again trunk the frequency changes back to one okay because we want extra branches on this very tree okay 
the distribution i'm just going to leave it as random i won't tamper with this very trunk now but there's one thing i'd like to show to you guys you see here look at radius um take a good look at my tree supposing i decide to change the radius look at that you see how big my tree is now okay so i'm just gonna make that tree maybe about let's go for just maybe 1.05 that is my tree okay all right i'm going to leave the rest of the setting the way it is now let's come back in here and add another branch to add another branch you see here where we have add branch group click on that there we go look at that and this very branch group look at what's going to happen let's come right here you see where we have frequency i'm going to change the frequency to about let's go for 20. there we go or maybe let's just push it a little bit we we'll go for 30. okay now that we have 30 in there you see the distribution that depends on how you want it this is how random look like let me show it to you guys that's random let's select the tree again and go back there if i decide to select alternative that's how alternative look like i don't seem to like it so let's come back in here opposite there okay Let's go back. Let's select the last option we have here. Will they? There we go. Look at that. That looks a little bit more realistic. I'm going to go back in here and scroll right down. I'm going to leave all the other settings out. If you like, you can always carry out your own adjustment. Look at what's happening in here. Okay, that's the growth. How it grow. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's come right here. The shape with the shape, you can always reduce it. You see that? Or if we go back to the shape again, you can always extend it, but we don't want that. Let's just keep it out. This will reduce it, and this other one will actually increase it. It has double edge modifier to it. Right okay you see this very cap smoothing actually define the roundness of the top of the tree okay the choice is yours depend on how round you want it to look like and here sink the sun i think the sink sink the sun i'm just gonna make mine look at what's gonna happen to my tree 0 0.3 you see that actually brings the branches up and look at that okay so that's how i want it so let's select my tree again now okay before i go any further i'm going to add material and maybe i should even get all of this material in a folder called material there and let me select this my folder called material and then click on create select material and this very one i'm going to call it leaves i'm going to create another one right inside the folder called material as well and that one is going to be known as back back of the tree there maybe i should change the appearance of these so let's come in here that's the leaves i'm going to be using and i'm going to be using the back so let's click on my material first of all let's create select back you see inside the back i'm going to come up here you see the shader change the shader the properties of the chain shader select it and let's select nature and india select back and right here select the object you want or the image you want and there we have back in there i'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for the tree go back to the shader nature and create a tree create a leaf i mean now there i have 
the leaves and the bark in there. Now, I want to select my tree here and let's select the bark. And let's just select that. And right there, I'm going to now use the material. Drop, come right down. And here, where we have branch material. And let's go for the back. Or you can just type in the back there to search for it. There we go. And there we go. The back is now being here. You see the back is right in there. Now let's repeat the same thing for the branch of the tree. This very one. I'm going to come in here and repeat exactly the same thing. That's the back right there. Let's double click on it. And there we go. There. Now for the whole tree itself, I'm going to select this because I want to add the leaves to it. Click on leaves. And once you click on leaves, what you see is something that looks like paperwork. Can you see that? But let's change the frequency of these paper looking leaves. I'm going to make it about, let's go for about maybe 30. There we go. Right. That is done. Now let's go to the material. What I need is this. Um, it's either I drag it, I think I should be able to drag it and just drop it right in there. There. And you see it's coming up now. There we go. Look. The leaves are already on the tree. Look at that, guys. That's nice. Okay. One thing we need to do is let's click on the terrain. We save and let's select paint trees edit trees and what we need to do now is to add more trees to it so what i would do is the trees that i've just created right here it should be here somewhere let's come in here and look for that very tree well we can just click on this and look for the tree let's type tree in there there we go that's the that's the tree select the tree and click on add and there, that's the tree. It's either add a tree using the brush, or I can always click on Matt's Place Tree. If I click on that, that asks me how many do I want? Do I want 10,000? I think that might be too much. Let's, let's go for our 500 and just click on Place. There we go. Look at the trees all over the place. 500 trees everywhere. Look at that. Let's run the program so that you guys see how it looks like. There we go, guys. Those are my trees on board. And that is how you create trees, your own trees, using Unity without you going to the access store. But one other thing is, let's see if we can move around the tree. So I'm going to go straight to the standard asset. And in there, I'm just going to select character and select first person. Let's select the prefab of the first person. I'm going to select first person controller. There. That's my first person controller right there. I'm going to click on game so I see how it looks like. That's how the first person is looking on the terrain. Look at that. Okay. Let's run it and see how you guys will like it. And that will be the end of this tutorial. Look at the trees everywhere. And that's how you create your own trees in unity okay so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you all enjoyed you all have a nice day now and i'll be back with more unity tutorial so have a nice day guys